Another unresponsive Carrollton ISD student had to be revived on campus using the life-saving drug Narcan. The incident happened yesterday at Perry Middle School, one of three schools recently linked to a series of fentanyl overdoses. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live in Carrollton with details. Stephen. The fentanyl issue continues to have its grip on the Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD. The latest incident, a middle school student overdosing, and while suspected drug dealers have been arrested, the problem in this community continues. It's a pill. It's hidden. It's silent. It's that's the scary part. It's silent. Lisa Vargas and her family recently moved back to Carrollton from the Houston area. Her son is in the sixth grade at Perry Middle School in Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD. She's upset and scared after hearing a student became unresponsive in class earlier this week and had to be revived by school officials who used Narcan, an opioid overdose antidote. In the morning you say, have a good day, I love you, but also don't take nothing from nobody. That's my message. A month ago, a student at R.L. Turner High School became unresponsive on campus after ingesting a pill. Narcan was also used. Angela Tidwell lives across the street from Perry Middle. Her son, a freshman at R.L. Turner. It's very scary. Um, you got to worry about your kids. You know, um, with school shootings, drug overdose, hold your kids tight at night. You know, tell them you love them because you never know. Tomorrow's never promised. Multiple suspected drug dealers have been arrested in recent months. There's been multiple overdoses and three deaths linked to fentanyl pills in the Carrollton area involving middle and high school students. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Do I want to remove him from this district or remove him from this school? I mean, that has crossed my mind. Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD now has Narcan stations in schools. While Narcan is a way to help the immediate response to an overdose, the community is looking for a more permanent solution. In the meantime, parents told us what they tell their kids every day before school. Don't take anything from anybody because you don't know what it is. Talk to your kids. Do the right thing. Go to school. Focus. Don't, don't, don't get all wrapped up into this fentanyl crisis. We asked the district if the superintendent had a specific statement in reference to this week's incident. We did not get a response, but we did get the letter that was shared with parents. In it, the district forwarded parents to more resources to educate them about the dangers of fentanyl.